Okay, uh, so <clears throat> I think you can see we've got the uh, this plate, this special tool in position, uh, which uh, screws to the uh, to the timing crankcase, and then you see it's got this hole here, so it holds that shaft, the end of that shaft, uh, secure, so that when I I'm going to put the uh, this nut on the end of the camshaft and tighten it uh, to just over fifteen foot pounds with my torque wrench obviously doing that is going to pull on that shaft um and um so uh um that makes sure that um that shaft doesn't bend you know otherwise it'd be under a lot of stress then what i've also got whoops a daisy i'm trying to do this past the camera <clears throat> i've got a small uh uh a small socket extension Let's see if i can do this so then i'm going to so uh, it's awkward trying to show you this oh hey, there you hang on baby hang on baby there we go so then i'm going to turn the crankshaft round until these balancing holes so these holes are drilled when they're sort of balancing the crank uh, until uh, re you know, remove weight, so that ooh, hey, that fits nicely in there, and I'm going to put that in there, and so now that's going to stop the crankshaft from turning over, turning round to enable, and so it lock it's locking the crankshaft. Now I'm just going to get a small bit of rag. And <clears throat> I'll uh, protect the mouth of the crankcase with that. So that's going in there. Now, what the other the other way of doing it is, of course, normal way of doing it is to put a bar through the con rods through the through the small end. But it's just easier if you've got. A, it's just easier doing it that way. Right. So now the crankshaft is locked. It's all moved a bit further away now. Um, and I'm going to get some um, Loctite, <laughs> lucky it said it on it, <laughs> never remember the name. And uh, I'm going to Loctite, obviously, for obvious reasons, I want to Loctite this uh, camshaft nut on. So for obvious reasons, I don't really want it coming off. Okay, just on the threads there. And... Uh, <clears throat> because there's no other locking for the... Uh, for this camshaft nut, you know, there's no uh, sort of lock, locking washer or anything like that. Put it on my camshaft, and then I'm going to tie that up about to 15 foot pounds. Whitworth socket. Get on there. No. Have I have I locked the crankshaft the wrong way? I think I have. Sorry, the crankshaft turning the opposite. Whoa! It's turning the opposite way. So move the rag to the other side of the crankshaft mount. There we go. That always helps. Put the back on the there we go. And so that's locked the crankshaft that won't turn. We've got the plate in place so we're not going to damage the Immediate shaft, and I think that's it already. There you go. Yeah, good. Oops, sorry, camera's in the way of it then. Uh, so that nut's done up now, so we're all good. Uh, okay, um, so I've taken the uh, that supporting plate off now, um, because I don't think we need it. Um, Someone wrote in and said, well, you can use it whilst you're adjusting the cam chain tension, but I'm sure you can, but I, I, I don't think it is, it's necessary. Uh, there's not enough strain on that shaft from um, adjusting the cam chain tension. Uh, but, of course, you can leave it on if you want. Up to you. Right, then we've got the, this is the worm drive for the oil pump that goes on the crankshaft, and it's a left-hand thread. And I always 
I always find it so weird to put a left hand thread on. You know, it's just, you know, just always feels so strange to be turning it a different way than normal. Now I've left the, uh, I don't know if I just said, I left the, the locking uh, bar is still in the, uh, is still in the crankshaft. And so then we're going to do this one up. Let's get my whip worth on it. Uh, and uh, that's done up to about 20 foot pounds. And this is where it comes in handy to have a decent uh, um, torque wrench because now I convert it to left hand torque. But some cheaper ones only do a right hand, and obviously, that's not good in the situation. All right, just adjust it up to 20 foot pounds. Yeah, patch shaft locked. flying all over the place. There we go. So that's done up to 20 uh, foot pounds. So that's in place. And the last thing we're going to do is adjust the tension on the cam chain. I, I tend to do that once I've done this, this nut up tight, tight, okay, so we'll just have a go, I'm going to just adjust the cam chain uh, to get a nice even play on this top top edge, I think it's about 5 sixteenths, uh, is it 5 sixteenths, something like that, a few, sort of 5 millimeter anyway, something like that, so that's about the right tension, but I'll adjust that. Okay, and uh, and there we have it. I've adjusted the uh, tension. It's about three sixteenths, five millimeter, uh, and then tighten these nuts up to fifteen foot pounds. Uh, and and there, I think we're done. Uh, we've now, next thing to do is to put the oil, well, check the oil pump, service the oil pump as necessary, and then fit the oil pump. But in terms of sprockets, etc., we're all we're all done. So next job will be the oil pump. Happy with that. I'm glad that we resolved this tension issue. It's it's very slightly uneven, still going round, but you know it's not it's not nothing like as bad as it was. So I'll I'll take that. I'll take that. Okay. Job done.